Uniting for Consensus is a movement, nicknamed the Coffee Club, that developed in the 1990s in opposition to the possible expansion of permanent seats in the United Nations Security Council. Under the leadership of Italy, it aims to counter the bids for permanent seats proposed by G4 nations and is calling for a consensus before any decision is reached on the form and size of the Security Council. History, Italy, through the Ambassador Francesco Paolo Fulci, along with Pakistan, Mexico and Egypt, in 1995 founded the Coffee Club. The four countries were united by a rejection of the increase of the permanent members of the Security Council and the desire to encourage rather the expansion of non-permanent seats. The founders of the group were soon joined by other countries, including Spain, Argentina, Turkey, Canada, and South Korea, and in a short time the group came to include about 50 countries in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. The thesis of the Uniting for Consensus group is that the increase of permanent seats would have further accentuated the disparity between the member countries and resulted in the extension of a series of privileges with a cascade effect. The new permanent members would have in fact benefited from the method of electing particularly advantageous in a number of specific organs of the United Nations system. After having agreed with the need to increase the representativeness of the Security Council, in 2005 during the 59th session of the United Nations General Assembly, the UFC Group a Euro led by the representatives of Canada, Italy, Colombia and Pakistan a Euro made a proposal that centers on an enlargement of the number of non-permanent members from 10 to 20. The non-permanent members would be elected by the General Assembly for a two-year term and would be eligible for immediate re-election, subject to the decision of their respective geographical groups. The other members and co-sponsors of the text, entitled Reform of the Security Council, were listed as Argentina, Costa Rica, Malta, Mexico, San Marino, South Korea, Spain and Turkey. Although the proposal was not accepted, the initiative found broad consensus among member states, including permanent member China. On April 20, 2009, Colombia and Italy, acting as representatives of the UFC group, provided a new model of reform, which was presented as a concrete attempt to reach a deal. The document proposed creating a new category of seats, still non-permanent, but elected for an extended duration without the possibility of immediate re-elections. This new kind of seat would not be allocated to single national countries but rather to regional groups on a rotational basis. As far as traditional categories of seats are concerned, the UFC proposal does not imply any change, but only the introduction of small and medium-sized states among groups eligible for regular seats. This proposal includes even the question of veto, giving a range of options that goes from abolition to limitation of the application of the veto only to Chapter 7 matters. During the last round, Italy firmly rejected the G4 proposal as well as the African Union one and even denounced the unfair behavior of G4 countries. According to Italy, the G4 is attempting to exclude the UFC proposal from the floor, a euro OE on the basis of a presumed level of support a euro. Moreover, Italy believes that it has shown flexibility by putting forward a new proposal on April 2009, while the G4 remained tied to its 2005 document. Italy's active role in current discussion started in February 2009 before the beginning of intergovernmental negotiations when Minister of Foreign Affairs Franco Frattini hosted more than 75 countries to develop a shared path towards a reform of the Security Council. On May 2011, the member states which have participated in the group meeting held in Rome rose to 120. Members, as of February 19, 2009, core members of the Uniting for Consensus group were, Argentina, Canada, Colombia, Costa Rica, Indonesia, Italy, Malta, Mexico, Pakistan, South Korea, San Marino, Spain, Turkey. See also, Reform of the United Nations Security Council. References, Aker Ariel Rook. Players and Proposals in the Security Council Debate. Global Policy Forum. Retrieved November 3, 2011. Nicoletta Pirozzi. Natalina Ronsti. The European Union and the Reform of the UN Security Council, Toward a New Regionalism? Estituto Afari Internazionale. 
Retrieved November 3, 2011. A.B. Pamela Preschern. La reforma del Consiglio di Sicurezza de Gli Anni 98 di Oggi, Problema e Prospective. Estituto Affari Internazionali. Retrieved November 3, 2011. Uniting for Consensus Group of States introduces text on Security Council reform to General Assembly. United Nations July 26, 2005. Retrieved November 3, 2011. Kulwantri Reform of the United Nations. New Delhi, Atlantic Publishers and Distributors. Pages 232. ISBN 81 269 0668-5. Retrieved November 3, 2011. Draft Resolution, Reform of the Security Council. United Nations July 21, 2005. Retrieved November 3, 2011. Remarks by Ambassador Wang Guangya at Meeting on Uniting for Consensus. Permanent Mission of the PRC to the UN. April 11, 2005. Retrieved November 3, 2011. Security Council Reform. Permanent Mission of Italy to the UN. April 17, 2009. Retrieved November 3, 2011. Meeting of the Informal Plenary of the General Assembly on the Question of the Security Council and Related Matters. Permanent Mission of Italy to the UN. September 2, 2009. Retrieved November 3, 2011. Nicoletta Pirozzi. L'Italia e la Reforma del Consiglio di Sicurezza della Euro Unregistered Trademark ONU. Estituto Affari Internazionali. Retrieved November 3, 2011. Italy hosts Ministerial Meeting on UNSC Reform in Rome. Chiodo News February 5, 2009. Retrieved November 3, 2011. Reforma ONU, Fratini. Il Consiglio di Sicurezza si appear to the first representative of Italian Minister of Foreign Affairs May 16, 2011. Retrieved November 3, 2011. Vincenzo Nigro. Consiglio di Sicurezza ONU, Roma con 120 voti sfida di Berlino. La Repubblica. Retrieved November 3, 2011. Lydia Swart. Countries welcome work plan as Security Council reform process commences new phase. Center for UN Reform Education. Retrieved November 3, 2011. External links, Voca Wool. The Quest for Regional Representation, Reforming the United Nations Security Council. Dag Hamask Paragraph LD Foundation. Retrieved November 3, 2011. Thomas G. Weiss. The Illusion of UN Security Council Reform. The Washington Quarterly. Retrieved November 3, 2011.